Today, Hello ENC is going to clink and drink at Hook Camp Brewery and Tap Room in Williamston, where we're going to see how art and craft brews come together in a dazzling display. We're here with Jeremy, the owner of Hook Camp Brewery and Tap Room in Williamston. Thank you so much for having us today. Glad to have you all here. So what makes your establishment stand out from others? Because it is quite eclectic and gorgeous. There's so many colors everywhere. It's definitely different from any other place we've been. I mean, really just look around. Where else can you go and grab a beer and buy some art at the same time, right? Yeah. And not only that, I make gluten and grain-free beer. It's fruit-based. I'm working on a herb one right now with some clary sage grown in Windsor. I've got hard cider. I've got wine. And how did you come up with the art gallery? What's the history behind this awesome building? This was an old fish house to begin with, and I kind of just stumbled into town and found it one day and said, no, there's no brewery here, I think I'll put one here. And then a local artist came by and said, can I put some art on your building? And I said, go for it. And then he said, can I do this? Can I do that? And I said, do whatever you want. I can't hold back an artist. And that's how it got the way it is now. I love it. So if people want to come by and either purchase art or maybe be the newest artist to be on your walls, what can they do? Just come on by. Yeah, bring some art, throw it on the wall, we'll see what happens. Or come buy some art. You make hard cider, hard cider fruit wine. Fruit wine and grain and gluten-free beer. And so we haven't heard of grain and gluten-free beer, so explain how you came up with that. I submitted recipes to TTB when I just had the winery and they said, you can't make that, that's beer. I said, all right, I'll open a brewery then. So people who are gluten intolerant can drink your products. Right. There's no grain in it. What would you say is the one beverage that brings people back time and time again throughout the year? In the winter, people like the sour watermelon beer. In the Ooh. summer, they like the strawberry beer, which is kind of a strawberry seltzer. That's awesome, because you're also a black cider brewery, too. A black water cider. That's the, that makes the hard cider and the fruit wine. So I've got a watermelon wine. I've made a strawberry wine in the past that I'm out of. I've made a blueberry cider, a dry sage black pepper cider that's very popular. And then my Category 5 is my signature product. It's a blend of fruits and semi-sweet. Jeremy, if people have never been to Hook Hand Brewery and Tap Room, why should they come? You're going to come, you're going to make new friends, you're going to leave here feeling like you've known everyone here your whole life. You're not going to be a stranger, even if it's your first time coming. Jeremy, if people want to bring your drinks home, can they bring it home in a crawler, growler, or something else? Oh yeah, a growler, I'll fill a two liter, whatever you got. Jeremy, so what is this outdoor space? This is the Williamston Beer Garden. We've got nice gravel, great outdoor seating. We grill out. You're welcome to bring some meat and charcoal and grill out anytime you want. Bring your friends, hang out. Sometimes I put up a shade sail over here. And we've got the washer and dryer art wall. It's our version of a Cadillac Ranch. Explain the, the washer and dryers because I think this is such a cool feature. Well, this ground is really hard, so it was hard to put in some poles for a fence. So I thought, I'll use appliances. And then my friend Bill started painting them. And when you stand way back there, you can't even tell that they're washers and dryers and it all blends in with the building. It's really cool. Then when you get up close, you're like, oh wow, this is really cool. Well, we've had a blast at this eclectic and unique brewery here in Williamston. And make sure to come back to Hello ENC every week to pull up a bar stool and discover new spots to clink and drink.